Wednesday this week, a political storm hovered around parliament as several MPs took sides on who will be the next speaker. Tempers rose further as some MPs accused the NRM Chief Whip Ruth Nankabira of sending out messages in support of Deputy Speaker Jacob Olanya. I have a question that I'm posing to you. Is it true that actually SEC does not want you when we are supporting you? Is it true, right, Honorable Speaker? It is true. We are in a multi-party democracy. But somebody to be a speaker becomes a speaker for all of us, does not become a speaker for NRM. What I posted was a reminder of the sex decision of 200 and of 2016, where sex persuaded Honorable Olanya to step down for right Honorable Rebecca Kadar. Honorable, do you want us now to bring the sex members to, to confirm or deny what you are saying? Please, Madam. Please, 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 please. We can do that. This is a reminder I made. According to Nankabirwa, the Central Executive Committee, SEC, had an agreement to let Kadaga take the speakership in 2016 with her returning the favor to Olanya in 2021. With the ongoing bickering, the NRM Vice Chairperson Moses Chigongo released a statement warning the warring factions against using Parliament to set up party disagreements. I didn't appreciate the way it was begun because you cannot begin with the debate. Because the debate for somebody who is to be speaker or not to be speaker, as of now, it's not yet. Because as NRM, we don't have a candidate. I was surprised that both the Honorable Kadaga and Nankaviro brought NRM issues in Parliament. They should never have been brought here. Interestingly, both of them are members of their organs. So on the day, on the day of choosing a speaker, it will be MPs uh, proposing names and MPs seconding names. However, the NRM Buganda Vice Chairperson and SEC member Godfrey Chiwanda told NTV that they would endorse only one candidate. For Gabala South MP Henry Chivalier, MPs who will not be part of the 11th Parliament should stop politicking ahead of the campaigns expected to be held at the start of the next session. Now they are looking for cheap popularity to show either the president that they are saying he could be interested in one of the candidates to catch his eye that maybe they are doing work for him or they move with him or they do what he wants. Two, they could be having their selfish interests or they could be having their battles. But we are looking for a speaker for the 11th parliament. Let the members of the 11th parliament vote their speaker who is going to be their chair. Don't use your influence because some of you are using your position, your current positions to influence which is wrong. The Speaker of Parliament and the Deputy are expected to be elected in May after the 11th Parliament is sworn in. SEC is not the one which elects. It's not, that, it's not the SEC organ that actually comes out with who is going to be Speaker. But SEC has the mandate to have a flag bearer for the, for the position. But the election of the position of the Speaker at the end of the day, constitutionally, it has to be done by the members of Parliament in the whole House. Where we are now, we can leave the NRM people to quarrel. But whoever they bring, whether Kadaga, whether Oranya, whether Bahati, for me I'm going to contest. And people are going to be shocked. Ali Mivole, NTV.